Welcome to a video where I shall rank characters in a specific genre and piss off people across the globe because it does not match up with their opinion and therefore believe I should be incarcerated. Today, I shall be ranking the top 5 plant classes in Garden Warfare 2, analyzing the class as a whole, with their weapon and kit included, out of a potential of 8 candidates who will come out on top. Let's get started. In 5th place. We have the Cactus. The Cactus class offers strong reliability in terms of a majority of their primaries being extremely strong when in the hands of a skilled player. However her kit is not the most engaging, and is more of a passive kit than a proactive one. The only ability that really has proactive usage are the drones and the nugget mines, which only really applies to certain classes and variants. Whilst her primary is one of the strongest, its higher skill requirement does make her not as beginner friendly as other classes, making her not as easy to pick up and play, hence her lower placement. In fourth place. We have the Citroen. Citroen's primary compared to Cactus is significantly easier to use, being of a laser that not only is easier to connect shots with, but also does have a slight amount of leeway in terms of splash. His kit also composes of a highly powerful stun, equipped with a massive blast radius, damage over time, and it lasting over 3 times longer against Z-Max. Massive mobility whilst in ball form, and a shield that can provide a bit of extra time when it comes to facing off extremely dangerous enemies. Citroen's placement would be higher if his overall range game wasn't so handicapped in the Citroen rework and reduced to atoms. In third place. We have the Pea Shooter, one of the easiest classes to pick up and play, with his generous splash damage, massive splash radius, and surprisingly small size making him difficult to hit. His Pea Gatling deals a shit ton of damage, and his Bean Bomb can clear out objectives within a matter of seconds. Hyper can also be used to very easily cover lots of ground, as well as reach a lot of high ground extremely easy. In second place. We have the Colonel Corn. Whilst slightly harder to get into that pea shooter, Corn makes up for his mildly higher skill ceiling with how much sheer fucking damage he can deal. Most of their primary weapons deal a ton of damage. Husk Hop can be used to erase anything underneath you as well as get to higher ground. And Air Strike and Shuck Shot can be used to secure eliminations. Overall, a very solid class, capable of delivering a ton to the field with how much he can deal. And in first place, we have the Barbecue Tree Man. This class boasts next to everything you ever need 275 health and a minigun that can tear through enemies up close. Whilst his range game is a little on the lagging side, Smoldering Madness can very easily fix that problem. And if enemies are coming up close and personal, then you can use Blazing Blast to dispose of them and Leaf Shield to essentially survive almost anything. Our mighty lord and savior has the tools to handle almost any and every situation, which is why I firmly believe that he is the best plant class in the game. Be sure to come back for the next episode in two weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.